How's it going, YouTubers? That Tron man got a new uh, product review today to do. Excited about this, and I've been waiting for it to come in. Finally came in. I got me a uh, a new bench power supply. Um, I've got one now. It's pretty nice. It's a BK Precision one, but it uh, it's only three amps. And I've been doing a lot of radio radio repair here lately. Uh, and if I do any car radio, anyway, I need a little bit more than three amps bump on it. So, uh, got to looking on the old tube there and, uh, found this on Amazon. And this is a 10 amp power supply. So I'm kind of excited to see that. It's, it's lighter and littler when I, uh, when I've had before. So, uh, hopefully she does the bill. As you can see, I'm doing a box opening now as we, uh, open it's got a little, uh, how to, just current without load, owner's manual, warranty card for one year. Get her out here, see what she comes with. Power cable, go ahead and really light. Surprising, I got the one I've got that's a three amp right now, is probably 50 pounds, but then it's you know 20 year technology. This is a switching power supply, and I don't even think it weighs three pounds. Uh, let's get her out of the box here. It comes with these banana clips too here. Just set here. Set that there. Get her out of the plastic. I really like the size of it. That's cool. I'm going to take up too much room on my bench. Uh, let's see here. I can open it up for Christmas. Yeehaw. Okay. There she is out of the box. Look at her right there. I set her down. I don't know really what to do too much on her. You kind of will uh, plug her in, see how bright the display is. A um, couple cool features show you here. It's got a plus and minus. If you had some minus voltage project you wanted to do, you can actually go minus. But uh, it's 10 amps from 0 to 30 volts. And it's got some of them that I looked at the power supplies, they only had a Volt and amps, and not the fine, which you know I kind of like to be able to fine tune it. You know, from go to zero to thirty on one knob, you're not gonna you're not gonna get fine. This would definitely help on the fine adjustment. I like to run the test at about fourteen volts, uh, thirteen eight. So that'll be kind of handy. It's got a USB there, two amp charge port, which is cool. I mean, this is definitely good for charging lipos and stuff as long as you know what the battery characteristics are. You can set it up and charge a uh, charge lipos. As well, let me pick, pull this protective screen off of here. We're gonna go ahead and there we go. Looks better without that protective cover on it. I'm kind of anxious to see what it looks like lit up. Okay, the power switch is on the back. Go ahead and turn her on, and uh, hopefully you can see that display there, which it looks like it's set at 15. See, so go down. down the that's kind of cool it's linear I zeroed out I want to see if it's actually gonna go down to absolute zero yep okay so zero zero and then I see we go all the way up to 30 volts there it does 30.20 volts is what it's showing but most of the time this thing's gonna be sitting around this uh, about right, probably about right there and here's a fine yeah I like that if you can see how linear that is, it's nice and linear. Well, that's a. I don't know how to see how bright that display is, but right? that's awesome. We'll definitely give her a run. I mean, she set at 10 amps or uh, rated at 10 amps. So uh, I'll give her a hook up and see how she does. It's got a cooling fan on the back. Let me go ahead and unplug it. It's got a cooling fan on the back, and like I said, a power switch, and it's a standard uh, three pin uh, Molex type connector that you use. Okay, there she is all hooked up. You can see I've got her hooked up to the CB I'm working on right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, um, I've got it set to 13.95. I've got my multimeter over here, and it's showing how um, 387388, so point six seven off, which I'm probably getting a little lost in these cables. That's pretty accurate. Shows it's pulling uh, 
4.337 amps or 4.7 watts and then when I of course key it it's pulling uh, 1.7 amps and 24 watts pretty cool seems to be working real well as you can hear I've got some static going from a rail behind it no hum totally quiet power supply I'm getting no hum at all so that's a good sign sounds like it's a clean spy anyway hope this helps uh, thought I might show it on the bench a little bit there and show her up and working and monitors and PCs and everything else now the construction seems nice no damage as you saw it's got a really nice bright display anyway uh, just another addition to my bench hopefully you enjoy this at least uh, you get to see the product out of the box and actually see it powered up as compared to just looking at a picture anyway I hope this helps um, if I have any more updates on it or run any problems I'll uh, I'll update there down in the text but anyway hope you hope this little hope you enjoyed this little product review this is electron man please like and subscribe and have a great day